Well, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, whatever time you're watching this damn film. So, I shot this uh, video clip here on this new, I bought this uh, here, Canon here. This is a new Canon camcorder I got here. I got the pawn shop. It's a couple years old, but it shoots really good video. Anyway, I was trying to shoot, uh, trying to see, see how it works and all, so I shot this video doing squash. I love this time of year when you get all the squash and all the gourd vegetables. Anyway, uh, the rest of the film I shot on this here phone and I erased the shit, of course. So, uh, this film's going to look kind of incomplete. But anyway, I hope you enjoy it and uh, the parts of me tasting the food and showing you the final results, of course, are erased. But you can't see the preparation. Enjoy the clip. The following presentation is brought to you by Gay Johnny Texas Vegetables. Have a Gay Johnny day. Now, now, today. Okay, so the first squash we have here is the spaghetti squash. Okay, so when cooking the spaghetti squash here, you're gonna put your knife directly in here like so. Make sure you just kind of work, let the knife do the work. You don't want to put a lot of pressure because this thing will slip on you. Just be, cut your arm or some shit like that. You don't want that to happen, okay? Just kind of work it down in there, okay? Okay, and then you start kind of gently put some pressure down there. Pull it out from this side, turn your squash around, go back in the other way here. Same thing, just let the knife, a little bit of pressure do the work. Okay, so now we got that squash split in half there. Okay, so next thing you're going to need is a silver spoon. If you wasn't born with a silver spoon in your mouth, use a regular spoon. So you're going here like so. You're gonna take them seeds right out of there, okay? Just like so. Just kind of scrape the sides there, get that little connective tissue out of there, and them seeds out of there. And you can save these seeds, you can roast these seeds, or you can dry these seeds out and plant them in the springtime and have yourself some own spaghetti squash. That's one way to do it. Okay, so see, we got all them seeds right there. You should be able to confirm that. Of course. There you go. I don't understand why you're that one's ready to bake. Let's do the other side. Okay, so at this point, we got them both clean. We got them in a pan here for roasting. Got some olive oil here. Extra virgin, that's just Kroger brand. And drizzle a little bit of olive oil in there. You don't want a ton of it, enough coated. Okay, so all that olive oil, as you can see, goes straight to the bottom. You can take your fingers in there, rub it around. Nice equal distribution of the olive oil here. Okay, so next thing I hear, I got some lemon pepper. I'm out of regular pepper, so I'm putting a little lemon pepper on there. It's okay, because you get a little bit of citrus to it. It tastes really good in there. Sprinkle that on there generously. Okay. Got a little bit of kosher salt here. Gonna put some kosher salt on there. And that's it. We're just gonna put that in the oven like that and roast it. It's gonna taste delicious. The natural flavor is gonna come out of there. Okay, so the next squash we're gonna roast here is the butternut squash here. It's a very sweet, nice, tasty squash. We're going to roast that in the oven as well. I just love this time of year. Squash season is the best time of year because the, the, the gourd vegetables are just tasty as hell. Okay, so here with the butternut squash, what we're going to do is we're going to cube this thing up and roast it in the oven. So we're going to take this top off here, this bottom off here. Take your knife here and slice right down the sides here and peel it. It's very tough skin, so it's very hard to peel with an actual peeler. Okay. 
And you just keep going all the way around, you know. Okay, so there we are, all cleaned up there. That's a beautiful uh, butternut squash. Now here in the neck pot, you don't have no seed. In the bell pot, you do have seed. I'll show you that when we get there. So the neck up here stops about right here. All this is gonna be seed free. So what I'm gonna do is cube this up here in some rough chunks, roast it. I may throw it with some penne pasta tonight or something. Just some nice rough chunks, about one inch by one inch or so, somewhere like so. It's nice roasting size. Okay, so we got all that cubed up. Now we're down to the bell pot. See all them seeds in there. So you can take your spoon again, just like we did on the, on the uh, spaghetti squash. You know, carve them out there. Take a spoon, work it around inside there. Taking all them seeds and all that shit out of there, okay? Just pop right out of there. You can keep the seeds again, or you can get rid of them, whatever you want to do. Okay, so we have them seeds out of there. It's all cleaned up. We're going to cube this up the same way. Alrighty, so we got our squash here. Same thing. Put a little bit of olive oil in there. Okay, so for this one, we're using some cracked black pepper here. I'm out of table ground. I actually would use a, a little smaller pepper if I had it, but that's all I got. So we're going to use that. Then, a little bit of uh, granulated garlic here, some garlic powder. Okay, then, we're going to add some cinnamon in here. Okay, we got some cinnamon on there. Put just a little bit of thyme on here. This is just a dry thyme here. It's not marijuana. I know it looks like it, but it's just dry thyme here. Mmm, it smells good. It smells, it smells coming out before it even got hot. It smells really good. Okay, then the last thing we're going to do, oh, we got two more steps here. We're going to put some kosher salt, of course. When you're cooking, I do not like using the iodine salt. I like using the kosher salt. So you always use the kosher salt. And one more thing here. I got just a little bit of, you know, like a tablespoon of sugar here. We're just going to sprinkle some sugar on there. Like so. Alright, get that all tossed in. Get all that shit all married together. Get all the pieces coated correctly. Same thing with this. It's going to cook for about 45 minutes in a 350 degree oven. Make sure you got your shit all level again. When they stack on top of each other, it's all level on the pan so it cooks evenly. Okay. Like so. We'll pop that in the oven. Okay, yeah, so the first thing we're going to do here is string this spaghetti squash and make it look like spaghetti. You just take your fork here, run down them sides, and that's going to string out there just like it's pasta. But without all the carbs, without all the gluten, all that shit you motherfuckers be allergic to these days. That's how it's done right there. Okay, so now we're going to use some prepared uh, pasta sauce here, make a mix in here, make this a casserole type dish we can bake off later on. There we go, here we go. Thank 
Okay, so here's our little baked big pasta dish here. Finishes off with some fresh uh, grated parmesan. All you gotta do is bake that off in the oven for about until you get it hot again and it's ready to eat. That's gonna be delicious right there. Mm -hmm. That's a simple, healthy meal you can make at home.